Damn! Five degrees? I wish I knew that before I came into the workshop. I know what, I'm gonna make a thermometer. Or at least something to put the thermometer in. Oh. So first of all, we start with a block of wood and I stuck a pretty pattern on it. In this case, a star. So we cut the hole in the middle of the star so the blade can be pushed through it because it's an internal cut. There's no cuts to the outside of the piece of wood, no. So here we go, we're installing the blade through the hole and back into the scroll. So that's what this machine is. And tension the blade as you do. Otherwise the blade will be slack and it'll fall off. So here we go, we're cutting that. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so nice. It's something about cutting bits of wood with a scroll saw. It's quite therapeutic, you know. It's good for my mental health. Something needs to be. So bit by bit, we cut the five points of the star. Oh, we've got a star. But it won't come off. What do I do? Oh, we loosen the tensioner. Do, 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 do. Here it goes. And we undo the blade. And remove the block of wood. With a star cut in the middle. Where's it going? Come back. All these edges, well, they're a bit sharp, okay? But what we're going to do is we're going to round them off. But we don't want to round them all off, no. We only want to round the ones that don't touch the floor. No, keep that away from me! It's sharp! No, it's going to get me! No, no, no. Oh, so we go. Right, 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 right. All the edges that won't be in contact with the base. No. Because it'll fall over if you did that. That was a weeble wobble. We don't want no weeble wombles. So all the edges have been done. Oh, that's done. Oh, now I'm going to sand it. Take off all the old little burn marks from the cutter. That's where all the dark bits are. That's where it's got too hot. And burn the wood. There we go. That's the air sand. That's a little DA air sand. Come back. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. All right. Now, okay, we've got a bit of wood. And now we have to insert the insert thermometer. So a bit of measuring, a bit of marking. And I'm using an engineer square, a small six inch. Engineer Square, or oh, 150 mil if you like. So that's the outside of the hole that is going to be used to, well, insert the thermometer. But how are we going to do it? Oh, I wonder. We've got to mark the depth first. There's various ways of doing this. This is just one of them. We could make a jig to use the, uh, with a router to cut a, well, a hole. A square hole. But no, we're going to be using this little force snippet. And we're going to be cutting a series of holes. But if you notice, we set the depth. Yeah. That's what we first done. We set the depth of the cut so it couldn't go any deeper than it needed to. So we cut a series of holes in our block of wood. To take most of the waste and cut to the correct depth. Easy, ain't it? You could do that with a battery drill, if you like. That tool there is a corner chisel, a trend corner chisel. But you can't use it yet, no. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a hole. Oh, it's a glory hole. No, it's not. It's a hole. So we're going to use this record hold down to hold down the block of wood with a star cut in it and a series of round holes. Yeah. Not all the way through. No, no, no. Oh, that's a, it's not a hammer. No. Don't hit your hands with it. No. It's a mallet. Because we use mallets with chisels. I know some people don't, but I do. I think it's a good idea. You get more control anyway. Because you've got all these little points from the radius of the force in a bit. So we've got to remove them first. So we're going to use a small chisel to, well, to cut them away. That's what we're going to do. Now that's the first stage of making clearance for the thermometer. You can see, get them out of the way. We don't need them, no. Oh, there we go, get rid of the rubbish. Got to get rid of the rubbish. And clean the bottom out a little bit, so there's no bits in the way. Oh, it doesn't fit yet, but why is that? Because the corner's around. So we clamp it back down again, and we're going to clean that a little bit more to make sure that the width, you know, is enough clearance around the thermometer. As you can see, because it's a little bit on the tight side. Oh, there you go. There, there's clearance. That's great. Oh, can't be bad. But how... Oh, we're going to use that. Yeah, oh, that's what we're going to do. Get a square hole from a round hole. So tap, 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 tap. Oh, I wonder what it's doing. That thing's going down. Oh, oh, look. It's now square. I could do it on the other side. And that's square too. Oh, it's like magic. Oh, I'm so excited, aren't you? Oh, that one. yeah, they're brilliant, they are, aren't they? Now, try and make these. I'll leave a link in the description down below. But also, there are some Chinese copies as well of the same tool. 
So, why are we back at the drill? Well, the thermometer needs to have air circulating around it. So, I, well, I put a hole all the way through. That little point there, as you see, is, well, the other side of the hole. That allows me to, well, drill from the other side. Oh, oh, have I put that the wrong way around? I think I have. Oh, what a fool. But there's another reason why that hole's in the back. Use a pencil. And you can push the thermometer out. How good is that? And it'll go bop de ping There we go. Oh, waiting for it. Wait for it. There it is. It did it. And now I can put it the right way round. It's got to come out again anyway, because we've got to put some finish on it. That's what we're going to do in a minute. But first of all, we need a good old sand and get rid of any old like, lumps and bumps and, you know, cellulite or anything like that. Get rid of it. We don't want it. No. So we're preparing it. We're going to get rid of all the little um, sharp corners and what have you with a piece of fine sandpaper. In this case, it's 240 grit. That's a bit rubbish sandpaper, that bit. So it's only good paper. But it still did the job. So we're clear. Oh, we're back onto my... Oh, this is my... Well... My lazy Susan that I made. Yeah. So that way I can turn it around and spray it at the same time. So first of all, we are going to put the first coat on. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's clear varnish in a can. Oh, makes it so much easier. Go, oh, what's, oh, oh, it's looking beautiful already. Oh, look at oh, look at it go. Oh, there we are. Oh, isn't that nice? All dry and ready to go and polished up. Oh, 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 it's got a thermometer in it. I didn't see that a minute ago. That was like magic. Can't be bad. Anyway, don't forget to click like and subscribe and maybe that little bell icon because then you get a warm fuzzy feeling in your pocket every time I upload another video. And I know you'll be excited about that. I hope so. Ta-ta!